hello guys um welcome back to ms tv and it's been a while yeah i'm very busy with life life gets in the way so this is a very quick but detailed video i wanted to do for students who are in spain and all people who want to come here as students and are considering or wondering how they can continue to live here legally and maybe also find work obviously so uh, the first question a lot of people ask me is um when I come here, do I have the opportunity to be able to get my residence and, you know, work permit or anything? Yes, there's a possibility. However, there are certain steps you have to follow. So now, what are the options you have? Once you are done with your education, there is a visa that or a residence that's given to students who have um, completed their master's, their PhD to look for work. And this is a one-year visa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one-year visa allows you to look for work. There's one thing you notice. Um, sometimes it's very difficult to get this visa. Okay, so usually what I advise students to do is, if you can afford, do another course. If you want to stay legally in Spain and be able to move around the European Union, you have to do um, another course. There are Spanish courses a whole year which are cheaper and are quite flexible for you to be able to move around and still be studying. So that will be the first option for you if you want to continue living here legally. Look for another course. You could do other master's course. Look for affordable courses once you are in Spain and then you do it. After your third year being in Spain, we have what we call the Arraigo Social. So um, that is a, a form of or is a procedure that allows you to apply for residence for the fact that you've lived in spain a minimum of three years continuous okay without interruptions yes yeah, so continuously you've lived in spain and then with that there are certain documents they're going to ask you to submit which i think i have a video earlier and i'll try and link it up here or in the description box so that you can check that video the kind of documents they ask for the arrival social but one thing you have to notice, if you are considering doing the Arrigo Social, please make sure you are um, enrolled in a Spanish course, okay? So that you get your certificate to use that because they are going to interview you. And if you are in Catalonia, you have to learn Catalan because then the interview is going to be in Cat Catalan, obviously. But, well, if you are in other parts of Spain, then it's Spanish. So it's Spanish, um, it's, it's quite easier than Catalan, but anyways... You can learn it so yeah you try it so those are the options and once you qualify the arrival you qualify for the arrival social you will need a job contract and that is where it becomes tricky trying to find a company who is ready to give you a job contract to apply for your residence or work permit because the funny thing is before they give you a job contract they want to know you have a work permit but before you can get your work permit you need to get a job contract so that is the you know, the game the Spanish um, authority plays with the um, foreigners or the expats, you know, to make things a bit, you know, difficult for you. But there's always a way. Try and make sure you are making friends, good connections who can help you. Just don't make any connections, you know. You want good connections, people who can help you, who know the, the system, who know people to help you. Because everywhere you go, if you don't know anyone, then you're going to be stranded. You need to know someone. Even in heaven, in hell, you need to, hell. You need Satan. If you're going to heaven, you need Jesus. So yeah, everywhere you need to know someone to lead you to where you want to go. So make sure you're getting a good connection. So, um, this is just a brief um explanation of whether you can stay here legally and work after your studies. Yes, it's possible. I'll try and make other videos breaking down all the various procedures you can use, and then. Um, yeah, to help you guys. I hope this video was helpful. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and until we meet another time. Adios.